it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. So you guys might remember, maybe a month or so ago, a company called Uvini contacted me and they offered to send me some free clothes in exchange for a video. Now, that company, they're like a Harajuku kind of style store and they also have a sister store which is called Unazi and that is the Korean style store. So this time for today's video the Korean store Unazi has allowed me to pick a bunch of stuff from their store so I can do a video. I thought I'd run things a little bit differently today. I have a series called Yoidi which is you wanted it, I bought it. Now usually what I do is I ask my followers to pick the clothes from a particular website that they want me to review but today I thought I would do things a little bit differently. You see, I have a very unique living arrangement. I live with my fiance, Daniel, and we live with my ex-boyfriend, Sam. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of very, very confused people and there's a great story to accompany that, but we'll go into that some other time. Due to my unique circumstances, I thought it would be fun to make a little series called Ex versus Fiance. Now, my ex-boyfriend, Sam, we've known each other since 2007, so 11 years. So he knows me pretty well. My fiance Dan, we met in 2013. So obviously I knew Sam longer than I knew Dan. And Sam knew a very different side of me. Because when I met Dan, I was very into Japanese things. We actually met in Japan. I was into Japanese fashion, Harajuku style, things like that. But when Sam and I were friends in school, and when Sam and I dated, I was a massive goth, or emo, or punk, or whatever. I mean, I kind of transitioned between all of them. So anyway, Sam always knew me throughout school as someone that wore nothing but black and I loved to wear skulls and I had to wear black lipstick and all this sort of crazy stuff. Dan's always known me as a pretty pastel princess. So I thought it would be funny to challenge the boys. What they had to do was jump on Unazi. They had to choose 10 items each. The twist here is because I'm trying to be a trendy YouTuber, this is a back to school themed haul, you know, because I, I guess that that's a thing that we do on YouTube. We do back to school, apparently. I went to the boys and I said to them, Boys! Wait, oh my god. Is this happening? What? What are you even- Fucking hell. Fucking What are you doing? Nothing that you need to worry about. I have an announcement to make. Did I miss fault? Uh, I have a challenge for you. Yes? I'm doing a haul video. And it's so, sorry, sorry. There you go. There, there oh, we go. We can continue. That's nice. Bird proof. I'm doing a haul video, and I thought it would be fun to get you guys to pick the clothes instead of me. <laughs> so you say you can't come up with your own original oh, content? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Savage. Felix and I are great at making original content. Thank you very much. <laughs> the theme is back to school, because that's what YouTubers do. They do back to school videos. But you're like 25. Shut up, Sam. So what I want you to do is choose 10 items each. Uh, just imagine what someone might want to wear to school. So, Wait, are, we, are these Australian schools or American schools? Because uh, well, look, I we've mean, got uniforms. <laughs> uniform. Just forget about Australia. Australia is the the sad, sad part of the world that has hey, to wear we uniforms. Live here. Are we talking like back to school, back to school, or college school, going back to school? Uh, Halloween? Look, we'll just name it back to school, and then people can interpret it however they want. Schoolgirl outfit. None of these are suitable. Moving on. <laughs> hey Dan, do you think you can wear that to school? <laughs> Should we do it? Depends what school. And here we are, a few weeks later. This is Sam's parcel. This is Dan's parcel. I have no idea what they chose. All I said to them, as you saw, was it had to be school themed. So uh, I'm expecting some skirts, definitely. So what I'll have to do, I will have to get the boys to open their parcels and put the pieces together that they wanted me to wear. And uh, I guess with that, let's have a look at this stuff, Archie. Are you ready? You wanna see? I'm not sure, but let's hope there is. Just a reminder, I'm not an affiliate of this company and I'm not being sponsored today. They gave me these things for free, but that never affects the way that I review stuff. I'll tell you guys openly and honestly what I think. I don't make any commission, but they did set up some sort of discount code. I think it's pretty pastel and it should get you 10% off if you decide to buy anything. That's not an affiliate code, that's just if you want to buy anything, it's a discount. 
So with that, let's get into it. Okay, outfit one is a little bit of a shock to the system for me. I haven't seen myself wearing any sort of dark blue colour in a very, very long time. But trust Sam, Sam knows me well. My 18th birthday party, I wore this huge dark blue ball gown and uh, obviously Sam remembers that dark blue seems to kind of complement my hair, I guess. Is that why you chose this? <laughs> Sam got you blue. I got you blue. You like it? What I do, do you think? I do. I think you chose well, it's cute. It says ugly cherry, so I don't know if that's like a subtle shot at me or what. I assure you it was not. I do not approve this message. <laughs> I remember in my last video where I got clothes from Uvini and Unazi, I was really raving about the quality. The quality of these, it feels average, just kind of like average. That It's nothing to really rave about, it's just like a standard t-shirt, just like any other t-shirt that you'd buy from a regular cheap store, like big Target or something. I know Target in Australia is very different to Target in America, but for my Australian friends, this, this feels like a Target t-shirt. The skirt, it's comfy. Now, the issue with sizing that I remember last time when I tried to place my first order with them, I asked them for small, and they came back to me and they said that they recommend that I would get a medium because the Asian size small is different to Western size small, but I am kind of finding that it's a little bit loose. So I feel like for my body shape, I may have fallen into this kind of in-between of small and medium. But I guess at least if it's a little tiny bit too big, you can always tuck it in. Whereas if it's too small, you can't really make more fabric out of nothing. So perhaps size up. It gets major, major, major bonus points because there's pockets. I mean, we know I love pockets, so that's great. And then, like I said, there's this little kind of like pin pin on cherry, which is very, very cute. I'll give you a close up. It's absolutely adorable. It feels really nice. I don't think that it'll break too easily, so I'm very happy with that. And I like that I can put this on any other piece of clothing, not just this one. There you go, guys. That's Sam's outfit number one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay, this is Daniel's outfit number one. I absolutely love this. I feel like this top is much nicer than the top from Sam's outfit. The skirt, this feels really cheap, like it doesn't feel like it's good quality at all. However, I guess when you look at the design, the design is really, really cute. So it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, mm, it looks great, it's not made that well, but you might sacrifice quality for appearance, or you might want, you know, hello? Oh, oh, you've come to see, have you? This is just a very, very plain top, it's just a v-neck top. And the skirt, I really like the pleats, it's got shorts built in, and because this is a size medium, I'm not having that same problem that I had with some of the other skirts in my first Korean fashion haul, which they were kind of like pulling because the shorts were too small for my torso. It's not happening. It's great. Like, this is fitting really, really well. It's a little bit looser on my waist, but that's alright because at least it's really comfortable. And it's not too short either. Like, it's not showing my bum. So I think colour-wise, I adore this. I think this is such a cute outfit. I think for me, for outfit number one, I would say Dan wins. As, you, as you're watching, maybe let me know down below. You can say outfit one and you can say who you think the winner is for each one. I think Dan's outfit wins over Sam's, but let me know what you think. Okay, here's Sam's outfit number two. Now, uh, this is supposed to be a back to school haul. But I think the boys have kind of forgotten that schools kind of have dress codes. I mean, in Australia, most schools, it's compulsory to wear a school uniform. I've only ever seen two schools where they don't wear uniforms. So it's, it's basically compulsory in Australia to wear a uniform. But I know in the States, I think there's other countries too, aside from the United States, where you don't have to wear uniforms. I don't really know, uh, but I'll take the States as an example. So I'm sure that they would have a lot stricter dress codes over there than what the boys are dressing for. Because have a look at this. This has like lace up slits on the side and I can't imagine any school kid being allowed to wear this. I think they'd get sent home. So sorry boys, but uh, I don't think that this is a winner. The skirt is made really, really well. This is made of really great fabric, but it's doing that thing that I said, you know, see how it's making this kind of funny shape like this? This is because the skirt on the outside and the shorts on the inside, it's not really made for my body shape. The waist, it's a little bit big, so sizing is a little bit difficult for this one. But I think outfit-wise, this is super cool. Sam did a really good job pairing these two together. I think it looks great. And I uh, can't really fault it in terms of style, but I can fault it because for back to school, I don't think it's very appropriate, so um... Yeah, so that's, that's Sam's outfit. Okay, well here's Dan's outfit number two. 
I cannot believe how similar this is to the outfit that Sam chose, and I'm kind of thinking that they probably conspired. They probably worked together because it's, it's basically exactly the same outfit. It's literally the same top, like exactly the same top. It's got the lacy bits on the side, so not appropriate for school. This skirt, though, fits way better than that purple one. It's crazy because they're both medium, but they fit so differently. Like, the, the shorts built into this one are so much more comfortable than they were on the purple one. The waist is fitting way better, too. It's really high-waisted, but it also isn't too short, as you can see. Like, it's not really, really short. It's still a short skirt, but it's not too short. And the funny thing is, the school uniform that I used to wear had a red tartan skirt, so... This is very similar to something I would have worn at school. It's just like that tiny little bit more, like, Korean sexy kind of schoolgirl from an anime kind of look, rather than practical school outfit. I think the boys weren't thinking about school-aged kids when they bought this one. They were probably thinking more about, like, college age, I reckon. But yeah, maybe for college this would be a little bit more appropriate. But this is a super cool outfit. Quality-wise, Dan's one wins because the skirt is better than the purple skirt, but style-wise, I think for outfit two, Sam wins the style contest because I actually really like that black and purple skirt together. Okay, this is outfit number three from Sam. If Sam hadn't just left, I would be roasting him right now because no one could wear this to school. Oh my god. Outfit-wise, in terms of a dress, this is really cool. It's made really nicely. I mean, when I say made nicely, it's not the best material, like it's, it's very comfortable material. I can see a couple of loose stitches and stuff like that. It just kind of feels like maybe like a $15, $20 dress to me. But style-wise, I think this is really cool. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine anyone getting away with wearing this to school of any sort. But I do think it's a really cool dress. I think it fits nicely. In terms of the actual dress itself, it's not too short. But this cutout here, that is a... Uh, that's revealing a lot. I mean, this is what you'd wear if you're doing like uh, maybe sex ed or something at school. But in terms of Korean fashion, I think this is a really cool dress. I think it's really stylish. I'm actually going to wear this, like surprisingly, I think I will wear this. I don't really wear black, but I can imagine myself wearing this because I think this is super cool. Okay, so this is Dan's outfit number three. This is way more appropriate for school than what Sam's outfit number three was. It has this adorable little moon cut out here, but it's not so sheer that you can see skin. It's just very subtle. I think this is so cute. I love the way that it fits. It cinches in at the waist here and flares out. This is made of really, really nice, stretchy, comfy material. I feel like a lot of people would love this. I think that the neckline is really nice. It's very flattering. I think this would look really, really cute with a belt. And this is very, very Sailor Moon. I can see why Dan picked it because, you know, with moons and everything, I can imagine I have a Sailor Moon backpack that has the moon and it's got little cat ears and I could definitely imagine pairing that with this. This is made so well. I think out of everything I've tried on so far, this is the best quality for sure. This is really, really nice. I love the fit. It's not too short. Like, it's a really appropriate length. I don't know how strict American schools or international schools are with their dress code, but like looking at this, I think you could get away with it. I mean, unless your school had some issue with shoulders, I'm not really sure, but even for college, you know, this would be really, really nice. I adore this. This is so good. Look how cute it is. Yes. Do you like it? What do you think? Is it good? Whee! What a good boy. You like this one? Do you like it? Cuddle. This one, I give this round to Dan as well, because I, I think this is great. But let me know, maybe maybe you guys might like Sam's one better, um, but I just think for school and in terms of being appropriate, I think this I think this is a bit more appropriate than the one that Sam chose. Okay, this next outfit chosen by Sam is very, very comfy. This top is amazing, but I have a sneaking... Yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that this top is a copy. I, I'm not sure, but there, I think that says UNIF. Or at least it, it kind of looks like it says UNIF. Leave a comment below if you recognize this design, but I have a sneaking suspicion this is copied. But it is really, really comfortable. Like this fabric is so soft. I can't believe how soft this fabric is. It's really, really nice. This skirt, now this is just, it's just a plain black pleated skirt. I have a few of these that I've got from different brands. It doesn't feel any different to what I've had from different brands. I've got the prices up on the screen, so if that's cheaper than what you've seen before, then yeah, it's worth it. But if that price for this skirt is more expensive than other black pleated skirts, I don't recommend it because it just feels 
just feels like a very average, like it's not a very unique design. It does have this really long belt with it, which is kind of cool, but I think that if you could find this sort of skirt cheaper, I wouldn't necessarily... I wouldn't necessarily recommend going for this skirt. Uh, and also, I'm not certain, but if this is a copy of a design, I wouldn't recommend necessarily buying a copy either. <laughs> But it is really, really comfortable, and I think that it's meant to be tucked in, but this, this is just a little bit too short to actually tuck in. Every time I tucked it in, it just kind of fell out. So, yeah, this is, this is a cool outfit. I feel like school-wise, it's a bit more appropriate. You know, you're not showing too much skin, and teachers can't really be unhappy with you for that. I kind of feel like it would be much nicer if it tucked in like that. If this was a little bit more shapely, I think I would like it more. But it is, it's still a cool outfit. Okay guys, I'm starting to think that next time we do an episode of X vs Fiance, the choices should be anonymous because I am really, I think I've picked Daniel's choice every time because this, this is Daniel's next outfit and I adore this. And part of me is like, am I choosing it because Daniel chose it? I mean, I think that Dan chose this because he knows my style really well. He knows that I go nuts for lilac and purple things. A bit bold of him to choose a black t-shirt, I don't really wear Black t-shirt, oh my god, that, that was quick. Do you like it? Yes. Are you sure? Because I didn't pick it. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Get out of here, Uncle Sam. I'm thinking next time it might have to be anonymous. I don't think I should know who chose what. But yeah, I am absolutely in love with this. This skirt fits me so well. It cinches me in at the waist perfectly. The shorts on the inside are not too small. They're fitting really, really well as well. The t-shirt is really cool. I love how flattering it is because cinching it in in the waist here, like it, it, I think it's very flattering. Like it makes me look like I have quite a small waist. I think the purple and pink text here looks really, really good with this purple and pink skirt. And this is, I think this is my favorite outfit by far. Absolutely adore it. Do you like it? Do you think it's good? <laughs> what a good boy. The skirt isn't too short. It's an appropriate length. The t-shirt, let me just untuck it so you can see. It's quite a long t-shirt. There we go, comes all the way down to there. So I think this outfit is very versatile. I feel like this t-shirt can be worn with a lot of things and I think that this skirt would match a lot of different tops. I think it would look great with white shirts. It would look good with the black shirts, as you can see. I think it'd be nice with pink or green. <laughs> so yeah, this one I absolutely adore. This is my favorite by far. outfit by Sam is very confusing. Uh, it's a two-piece skirt. It basically comes with a pair of shorts. So the shorts are fitting me really, really well. They've got this like cut out here. Then there's a skirt that goes over the top. That's like a, a two, it's a two-piece. So this second skirt has this big slit. It's not meant to close. It's got this big slit and then it comes with this crazy belt that's got a chain and all sorts of things. The top this is a familiar top. I now have three of these. I got the very first white one from the Uvini haul. It's got the little love heart here. Then I got a pink one from Yes Style, which was exactly the same with the love heart. And now the boys have picked this one with the black and white stripes. This is really cool. It's funny because when I was in school, I used to adore wearing black turtlenecks. So obviously Sam remembered that. I'm uh, definitely, definitely opposed to someone attempting to wear this to school because I think you'd get booted out immediately. I think it's a bit over the top. But hey, for college or just for everyday wear, this is super cool. It's a really unique outfit. I love how the outer skirt, which is separate, it's really, really long. Like it's a very long skirt. And then you have the shorts. So the shorts are just like this. So the shorts, I don't know if you could necessarily wear them separately, but Hey, this is one of the most unique things that I've ever seen. I personally wouldn't have paired this top with this skirt. I think this would look really good with that black top that had like the stitches on the side. I think that would look really, really good together, but it is still really cool. So quality wise, this feels, the, the shorts feel great, like really good quality. The skirt, it's not too bad, it's all right. Uh, the belt feels very, very cheap. Like the, the metal, it doesn't even feel like metal. I mean, it is metal, but it feels, very flimsy, so I kind of feel like those little eyelet things would pop off very easily. Not the best quality belt. The top, this is nowhere near as thick. If you saw my Uvini haul, you might remember the white turtleneck was very, very thick and luxurious. This one, it's the same style, but it's not thick. So it's more of a thin material, but it is very stylish. I do really, really like this. It's got the little red love heart there on the neckline and 
This is a really cool outfit. Can't, can't deny it, but not appropriate once again for school. I'll tell you what guys, if I wasn't already engaged to Daniel, I would tell him to marry me because he chose this. This is so, so nice. Look at this turtleneck. It has this beautiful little peach detail here. Now this is made really, really well. That other turtleneck that I just tried on was very, very thin fabric, but this is really thick and really, really luxurious. I adore this. This is one of the best turtlenecks I've ever tried on. I'm not exaggerating. I love it. This skirt is so cute as well. The colors are absolutely amazing. This skirt doesn't have shorts built in, which is good because it means that it means that it'll fit any size. Like, you know, it's not going to kind of tug or anything like that, depending on the size of your torso. But it's also quite short. So without the uh, shorts on the inside, there's a little bit more of a chance of flashing people. I don't think I would have necessarily paired this skirt with this top, but individually these items are fantastic. This one isn't made so well, but the style is just incredible. So I'm giving it a pass. This top is one of the best turtlenecks I've tried. So I adore this one. I think Dan wins this round. I think, I guess this is a bit more appropriate for school than the one that Sam chose. I can definitely imagine wearing this skirt a lot. I'm gonna wear this everywhere. I'm not sure in terms of schools, whether or not schools like high schools would let you get away with a, sh a short skirt like this. College, you'd be fine. Wearing out and about, this would be great. So in terms of an outfit, I think this is super cute. I do absolutely adore this little peach here. We know that I love peaches. I try to get my hands on as many peach embroidered pieces of clothing as I possibly can. This is one of my favorite outfits. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's one of my favorite. What do you think? Uh, Sam? Yeah, you So, wait. I'm confused. What could you possibly be confused? Were you laid them all? Oh. Yes, yeah, so about that. So it's called the Silver Safety Pin Style. And I just saw on the picture, it was just a black skirt with a safety pin on it. I assume the skirt came with a pin. Oh! You, you just get, <laughs> you just get the pin. You just get the, there you go. Okay. Well, so, so does that mean there's there's no final outfit from Sam? Well, what that, that is the final outfit. That's <laughs> okay. that's right, well, the final Archie outfit. Archie can review this one for you. <laughs> nice try, Sam. So, what have we learned from this experience? Read, read the read, fine print. Yeah, read everything carefully. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bite me when you've got a toy in your mouth. <laughs> you can't bite me with a toy in your mouth. <laughs> so I guess that's it for Sam's outfit. And then for Dan, now Dan isn't here, but there's there's one skirt. What do I do? There's only one, there's no matching top. Did he give you instructions? No, it doesn't go on like that. Now, before Dan left, he said he picked a particular shirt to wear with this. Uh, we both picked the same shirt, so I only sent one. So it's in this part. So, yeah, you're going to want to wear oh. that one with that. Oh, this is one you chose. This is in your pile. Well, right. we both chose it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> our, our thoughts converged and we both chose the same shirt. Okay. So cool. it's technically, I don't know. It's, it's ours. Very good. It's from okay. us. Enjoy. Have fun. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes. No. You are so rude. All right, well, because things kind of got a little bit mixed up with the, the matching, picking the same top and the skirt not turning up and all this sort of thing, I have put on this skirt that Dan chose and apparently he wanted it to go with something in Sam's pile, but I'm gonna put it with something in his own pile because I think that it looks really, really nice with this top. I just started to put on the skirt and I was gonna take this top off and put on the top that Sam said that Dan said I had to wear with it. But I think it just looks really, really nice like this. And you guys have already seen that top and I don't really wanna get changed again because my makeup will get all over the turtleneck. So I'm just being lazy. So anyways, this is the first time we're doing X versus Fiance. So, you know, I think we can make mistakes and we can bend the rules a little bit. So uh, yeah, this skirt is amazing. Like this is so good. Dan did such a good job choosing this. It's so cute. It's got these little bears hanging off it, which are absolutely adorable. It is so comfortable. It doesn't have shorts inside, but it fits really, really nicely. It's not too short here. And it's got pockets and they're real pockets. Look, look, there, real pockets. 
So I'm in love, absolutely adore it. It does up with a zipper at the back. I don't know if these buttons at the front do anything. No, no they don't. So the buttons are just for show. I feel like this is very appropriate for school and college. Like I feel like this outfit as it is with a turtleneck and this nice woolly skirt, this is a really thick skirt. Like it's a very, very, very thick skirt. So this would be great in winter. And I just feel like this is a really, really college appropriate outfit, wouldn't you say? Now I, I know he wanted me to wear it with that top and I'm kind of cheating by not doing it, but Sam's skirt didn't turn up because it's actually a safety pin and yeah, anyway. I think that we can let this one slide. If I can just get Archie off, Archie's just having the time of his life. Come here. No. <laughs> All right guys, well that's everything. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfits were. I think the boys did a pretty good job. You know, there's a few things that may not be appropriate for school, but I think overall, just as Korean outfits, I think they are so cool. I'm very, very proud of them. And this makes me really, really excited to do some more X versus fiance videos. If you have any stores that you want me to challenge the boys to buy things from, then please let me know. I'm going to get them to do one maybe from Fashion Nova or something. So leave your suggestions down below. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.